Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part two for the step by step guide to learn Angular. So this is our roadmap and uh, we have seen the prerequisites for Angular and uh, today we are going to create our first Angular application. So before we begin, quick recap of previous lesson. So uh, we have installed a node and uh, we have installed npm but we didn't install angular cli but uh, as i mentioned it's required to generate our angular application so let's uh, first verify if angular cli is installed in our system or not so open the command prompt and uh, run command ng run so uh, it's saying message ng is not recognized as an internal or external command. So now this is our official website for Angular CLI. And uh, we can install it by this node command. So let's copy this. and paste it so uh, we are done with the installation for angular cli so now let's very verify with the previous command So now I should see a version. So it's Angular CLI in 9.0.4. So we have successfully installed the Angular CLI. Now I'm going to create our application. So I created this folder and uh, I am here in my command prompt and uh, to create a new angular application we are having a command ng new and we can give name it's uh, hello angular and run it so it will ask some questions like uh, would you like uh, to add routing? So I'm saying no. So what style sheet format you like? So we are having CSS, CSS, less. So I'm keeping it CSS only. And it started installing all the packages required for Angular. In the background, you can see it's created one folder, hello angular. And now it is in process to install the, our packages. So now package installed successfully. So let's browse this folder. And now I am going to open our application in visual code. So if you don't have visual code, you can use any text editor. But to open this application in visual code, we can write command code, then space and dot. Now let's uh, 
go through the each folder in file created by our in angular application so this is uh, e2 is for end to end testing this node modules is all the libraries are installed in this folder and uh, this is our editor configuration file so you can add editor related configuration here this is git ignore file if you want to ignore anything to push to your repository so you can include this here and uh, this file is for our angular configuration and uh, this is a karma task runner to it's required to run our test cases this package.json installed whatever the dependency whatever whatever the packages we required we we can mention here and we can install it so these are the default packages and this is readme so if you want to mention any information related to your project so you can use this file and this ts config is a typescript configuration file so uh, you can define your typescript rule here and uh, this is our ts lint file so this is for lint rule so you can add or remove lint related rule here so let's uh, expand the src folder so this is our app code so we are having component in module here and uh, this is we can keep all our assets in this folder this is a environment variable file so for all your environment like production and test uh, sandbox and all you can define your variable here this is our icon file this is our main html where our angular application we are, we are keeping it here we are defining our styling global styling in this style.css file so now let's open our component change the title to welcome to my youtube channel now then copy this title open app.component.html and delete all existing text and now change it to like this after that open the visual code terminal so click on view select terminal and to run our application we are having a command ng serve so uh, if you if you are not having a visual code so instead of visual code terminal we can use uh, our command prompt also and we can run the same command but as we are going to use visual code for this tutorial so i am using this visual code terminal so after running this ngsr command we can see this message compiled successfully so now we can browse to this url so just press control and click on this url so we can see welcome to my youtube channel message so that's all for this video in the next video we are going to go through the module thank you for watching